the Soyuz 1 mission, launched on April 23, 1967, remains one of the most significant and tragic episodes in the history of space exploration. As part of the Soviet Union's ambitious Soyuz program, Soyuz 1 aimed to demonstrate the capabilities of a new spacecraft design that would become a cornerstone of human spaceflight. However, the mission's tragic end highlighted the perils of space travel and underscored the importance of rigorous testing and safety protocols. To fully understand the significance of Soyuz 1, we must first delve into the context of the Soviet space program during the 1960s. The Soviet Union had achieved remarkable milestones in space exploration, beginning with the launch of Sputnik 1 in 1957, the first artificial satellite to orbit the Earth. This was followed by the historic flight of Yuri Gagarin in 1961, who became the first human to journey into space aboard Vostok 1. These achievements firmly established the Soviet Union as a leader in the burgeoning space race. Following the successes of the Vostok and Voskhod programs, the Soviet space program set its sights on more complex and ambitious goals. The Soyuz program was conceived to address the limitations of earlier spacecraft and to pave the way for future missions, including lunar exploration. The Soyuz spacecraft featured a modular design with separate orbital, descent, and service modules, allowing for greater flexibility and capability in space operations. The Soyuz 1 mission was intended to be a critical step in validating this new spacecraft design. The plan was for Soyuz 1 to launch with cosmonaut Vladimir Komarov aboard, followed by the launch of Soyuz 2 the next day. Soyuz 2 would carry two additional cosmonauts, and the two spacecraft would rendezvous and dock in orbit. Komarov would then transfer to Soyuz 2 via spacewalk, demonstrating the feasibility of orbital docking and crew transfer, key technologies for future lunar missions. Vladimir Komarov was a seasoned cosmonaut and a national hero in the Soviet Union. Born in Moscow in 1927, Komarov had a distinguished career as a pilot and engineer before being selected for the cosmonaut program. He first flew into space aboard Voskhod 1 in 1964, becoming one of the few cosmonauts to participate in more than one space mission. Komarov was known for his technical expertise, calm demeanor, and dedication to advancing Soviet spaceflight. As Soyuz 1 prepared for launch, excitement and anticipation were palpable. The mission represented a significant technological leap and a critical test of the new spacecraft's capabilities. Engineers and scientists had worked tirelessly to develop and refine the Soyuz design, incorporating lessons learned from previous missions and pushing the boundaries of space technology. However, despite their best efforts, the Soyuz 1 mission was not without controversy and concerns. In the months leading up to the launch, numerous technical issues and design flaws had been identified in the Soyuz spacecraft. Engineers raised alarms about potential problems with the control system, parachutes, and electrical systems. Despite these warnings, pressure to proceed with the mission remained high. The Soviet leadership was eager to demonstrate progress in the space race, especially in light of the upcoming 50th anniversary of the October Revolution, a milestone of immense symbolic importance. On the morning of April 23, 1967, Soyuz 1 was launched from the Baikonur Cosmodrome in Kazakhstan. The launch proceeded smoothly, and Komarov successfully entered orbit. However, almost immediately, problems began to arise. One of the spacecraft's solar panels failed to deploy, significantly reducing its power supply. This issue, coupled with a series of other malfunctions, set the stage for a challenging and ultimately tragic mission. As we explore the story of Soyuz 1, we will delve into the technical challenges, the heroic efforts of Vladimir Komarov, and the broader implications for the Soviet space program. This mission, while marked by tragedy, played a crucial role in shaping the future of human spaceflight and underscored the critical importance of rigorous testing and safety protocols in the pursuit of space exploration. On the morning of April 23, 1967, at the Baikonur Cosmodrome in Kazakhstan, the air was thick with anticipation and anxiety. The Soyuz 1 mission was about to commence, marking a pivotal moment for the Soviet space program. As technicians completed final checks and cosmonaut Vladimir Komarov suited up, the enormity of the mission became increasingly apparent. Soyuz 1 was not just another space mission. It was a critical test of the new Soyuz spacecraft, 
intended to prove its capabilities and pave the way for more ambitious endeavors, including lunar exploration. The Soyuz spacecraft represented a significant advancement over its predecessors, the Vostok and Voskhod series. Its design featured three separate modules, the orbital module, the descent module, and the service module. The orbital module was designed to provide additional living space for the cosmonaut and could be jettisoned before re-entry. The descent module housed the cosmonaut during launch and re-entry and was equipped with heat shields and parachutes for a safe landing. The service module contained the main engines, fuel, and other essential systems. This modular design was intended to enhance the spacecraft's versatility and functionality. The Soyuz 1 mission aimed to test these new features under real flight conditions, ensuring that the spacecraft could perform complex maneuvers, such as docking and re-entry, with precision and reliability. However, as the countdown to launch began, engineers and mission controllers were acutely aware of the risks involved. Numerous technical issues had been identified in the Soyuz design, but pressure from the Soviet leadership to proceed with the mission was immense. At 3.35 a.m. Universal Time Coordinated, Soyuz 1 lifted off from the launch pad, its powerful rockets illuminating the pre-dawn sky. The initial phase of the flight proceeded smoothly, with the spacecraft successfully entering orbit. For a brief moment, there was a sense of triumph and relief among the mission team. Vladimir Komarov, now in orbit, reported back to ground control, his voice steady and confident despite the challenges that lay ahead. However, almost immediately, problems began to surface. One of the spacecraft's two solar panels failed to deploy, significantly reducing the power available to the onboard systems. This issue was particularly concerning because the solar panels were critical for maintaining the spacecraft's electrical supply, especially during the extended mission duration planned for Soyuz 1. With only one functioning solar panel, the spacecraft's power was severely compromised, affecting its ability to sustain operations and communicate with ground control. The failure of the solar panel was just the beginning. As Komarov worked to assess and mitigate the power issue, additional malfunctions became apparent. The attitude control system, which was responsible for stabilizing the spacecraft and controlling its orientation, began to exhibit erratic behavior. This made it difficult for Komarov to maintain the correct orientation of the spacecraft, complicating efforts to manage other systems and prepare for potential docking operations with the upcoming Soyuz 2 mission. Communication with ground control was also sporadic, further complicating the situation. The limited power supply affected the spacecraft's communication systems, making it challenging for Komarov to maintain a consistent link with mission control. Despite these obstacles, Komarov remained focused and methodical, using his extensive training and experience to navigate the increasingly complex and dangerous situation. As the mission continued, it became clear that the primary objectives of Soyuz 1, rendezvousing and docking with Soyuz 2, and performing a crew transfer would not be achievable. The decision was made to prioritize Komarov's safe return to Earth. The mission plan was swiftly revised, shifting from a demonstration of new spaceflight capabilities to a desperate effort to bring Komarov home safely. In the face of mounting technical difficulties, the ground control team, led by some of the Soviet Union's most experienced engineers and mission planners, worked tirelessly to devise solutions. They provided continuous support to Komarov, offering guidance on troubleshooting the spacecraft systems and preparing for re-entry. Despite their best efforts, the situation remained precarious, with the malfunctioning systems and limited power supply presenting significant challenges. Komarov's calm and professional demeanor under such extreme conditions was a testament to his character and training. He communicated regularly with ground control, providing detailed updates on the spacecraft's status and executing their instructions with precision. His ability to remain focused and composed in the face of overwhelming adversity underscored the human element of space exploration. The courage, skill, and resilience required to venture into the unknown. As the hours passed, the urgency of the situation became increasingly apparent. The malfunctioning solar panel and attitude control system, combined with intermittent communication, created a scenario fraught with danger. Ground control continued to work around the clock, exploring every possible avenue to stabilize the spacecraft and ensure Komarov's safe return. Despite the formidable challenges, the mission team remained resolute, 
driven by a commitment to bring their colleague and friend back to Earth. The struggle for survival aboard Soyuz 1 highlighted the inherent risks of space exploration and the critical importance of rigorous testing, robust design, and meticulous planning. As the mission entered its final phase, the focus shifted entirely to orchestrating a safe re-entry, knowing that the outcome would have profound implications for the future of the Soviet space program. As the final preparations for re-entry were made, the world held its breath, hoping for a safe return despite the overwhelming odds. The Soyuz 1 mission had become a desperate battle for survival, testing the limits of human ingenuity and endurance in the face of adversity. As the harrowing mission neared its conclusion, Soyuz 1 began its descent back to Earth. After almost a full day in orbit, Vladimir Komarov prepared for the critical re-entry phase. Despite the numerous challenges faced during the mission, there was cautious optimism among the mission control team. Every effort had been made to stabilize the spacecraft and ensure a safe return. However, the inherent risks of re-entry, compounded by the spacecraft's compromise systems, weighed heavily on everyone involved. Re-entry is one of the most perilous phases of any space mission. The spacecraft must withstand extreme heat and forces as it plunges through the Earth's atmosphere at high speed. For Soyuz 1, these challenges were magnified by the earlier malfunctions. The spacecraft's attitude needed to be precisely controlled to ensure that it entered the atmosphere at the correct angle. Any deviation could result in catastrophic failure. As Soyuz 1 began its descent, ground control monitored the spacecraft's telemetry with bated breath. The heat shield, designed to protect the descent module from the intense heat of re-entry, was functioning as expected. However, the primary concern was the deployment of the parachutes, which were critical for slowing the spacecraft's descent and ensuring a safe landing. Tragically, as Soyuz 1 descended, the worst fears of the mission control team were realized. The main parachute failed to deploy correctly. Analysis would later reveal that the parachute had become entangled, a catastrophic malfunction that left the spacecraft hurtling towards Earth at an alarming speed. In a desperate attempt to save the mission, Komarov activated the reserve parachute, but it too failed to deploy fully. The consequences of these malfunctions were devastating. With no means to slow its descent, Soyuz 1 plummeted to the ground near the town of Orsk in the Soviet Union. The impact was catastrophic, and Vladimir Komarov perished upon landing. The news of the crash sent shockwaves through the Soviet space program and around the world. Komarov's loss was a profound tragedy, underscoring the incredible risks faced by those who venture into space. In the aftermath of the crash, an investigation was launched to determine the causes of the failure and to prevent such a tragedy from happening again. The findings pointed to a combination of technical malfunctions and the immense pressures to proceed with the mission despite known issues. This investigation led to significant changes in the design and testing of the Soyuz spacecraft, aiming to enhance its reliability and safety for future missions. The loss of Soyuz 1 and Komarov marked a somber moment in the history of space exploration. It served as a stark reminder of the dangers inherent in pushing the boundaries of human capability. Despite the tragedy, the mission provided invaluable lessons that would ultimately contribute to the success and safety of future space endeavors. Komarov's final moments were a testament to his bravery and dedication. Even in the face of insurmountable odds, he maintained his composure and did everything within his power to bring the mission to a successful conclusion. His sacrifice highlighted the human cost of space exploration and the need for continuous improvement in the pursuit of new frontiers. The Soyuz 1 disaster had a profound impact on the Soviet space program. It prompted a re-evaluation of the approach to mission planning and execution, emphasizing the importance of rigorous testing and safety protocols. These changes were instrumental in the eventual success of subsequent Soyuz missions, which continue to play a vital role in human spaceflight to this day. In the years that followed, the legacy of Soyuz 1 and Vladimir Komarov endured. Memorials and tributes were established to honor his sacrifice and the lessons learned from his mission. The improvements made in the wake of this tragedy have saved countless lives and advanced our understanding of space travel ensuring that Komarov's legacy is one of progress and resilience in the face of adversity. As we reflect on the Soyuz 1 mission, 
we remember the courage and dedication of those who risked their lives to advance human knowledge and exploration. Their contributions have paved the way for future generations to explore the stars, carrying forward the spirit of discovery and adventure that defines the human experience. The tragic loss of Soyuz 1 and Vladimir Komarov had a profound impact on the Soviet space program and the broader space exploration community. In the immediate aftermath, there was a period of mourning and reflection. Komarov's bravery and dedication were honored through numerous memorials and tributes, both in the Soviet Union and around the world. He was remembered as a hero who gave his life in the pursuit of human progress and the exploration of space. However, the tragedy also served as a catalyst for significant changes within the Soviet space program. The Soyuz spacecraft, while innovative, had demonstrated critical design flaws and technical vulnerabilities. The Soviet leadership, along with the engineers and scientists responsible for the program, recognized the urgent need to address these issues to ensure the safety of future missions. A comprehensive investigation was launched to determine the exact causes of the Soyuz 1 failure. The findings highlighted several key areas for improvement, including the need for more rigorous testing of spacecraft components and systems, better quality control during manufacturing, and enhanced redundancy in critical systems such as parachutes and attitude control mechanisms. These lessons were meticulously documented and used to inform the redesign of the Soyuz spacecraft. The redesign efforts were extensive and thorough. Engineers implemented numerous upgrades and enhancements, focusing on reliability and safety. One of the most significant changes was the improvement of the parachute system, ensuring that it would deploy correctly under all circumstances. The attitude control system was also overhauled to provide more robust and reliable performance, even in the event of partial system failures. The hiatus in the Soyuz program allowed for these critical improvements to be thoroughly tested and validated. This period of intense development and testing culminated in the successful launch of Soyuz 3 in October 1968. The mission was a turning point, demonstrating the efficacy of the redesigned spacecraft and restoring confidence in the Soyuz program. Soyuz 3 successfully completed its objectives, marking a significant milestone in the Soviet space program's recovery. Over time, the Soyuz spacecraft became one of the most reliable and enduring platforms in human spaceflight history. Its design has been continuously refined and upgraded, and it remains in use to this day, regularly ferrying astronauts and cosmonauts to the International Space Station. The Soyuz series' longevity and success are a testament to the resilience and ingenuity of the engineers who transformed the lessons of Soyuz 1 into tangible improvements. The legacy of Soyuz 1 and Vladimir Komarov extends beyond technical advancements. The tragedy underscored the importance of prioritizing crew safety and thorough testing in all aspects of space mission planning and execution. These principles have become foundational elements of modern space exploration, guiding the development and operation of spacecraft across the globe. Komarov's sacrifice has not been forgotten. His story is a poignant reminder of the risks and challenges inherent in space exploration. It highlights the courage and dedication required to push the boundaries of human knowledge and capability. In honoring his memory, we also acknowledge the countless engineers, scientists, and astronauts who worked tirelessly to ensure the success and safety of space missions. Today, the Soyuz program stands as a symbol of perseverance and progress. It represents the culmination of decades of hard work, innovation, and learning from both successes and failures. The program's continued success is a tribute to the legacy of Soyuz 1 and the invaluable lessons it provided. As we look to the future of space exploration, the story of Soyuz 1 reminds us of the importance of diligence, resilience, and an unwavering commitment to safety. It inspires future generations of explorers to approach their endeavors with the same courage and determination that defined Vladimir Komarov and his mission. Through these ongoing efforts, the spirit of Soyuz 1 lives on, driving humanity's quest to explore the final frontier and beyond.